Hello and good morning. So for today's uh, activity, we will learn about JavaScript. So uh, today's tutorial will cover basic JavaScript, the document object model, and how to write JavaScript function. So all of these knowledge are important because you need uh, to know how to write a client-side uh, programming language in order to support the server-side programming language for deploying your web application. I trust that some of you have already enrolled in the Udemy class that I've uh, already given to you uh, during the last month. But uh, as an addition, I'm going to show you a class on how to use or how to program a basic JavaScript uh, file and integrate it into HTML file and subsequently how to use document object model in order to create a simple JavaScript program. Okay, without uh, further delay, I'm going to show you how to integrate it into your uh, web application. Okay, first and foremost, make sure that your Apache web server have already been started. Alright, uh, MySQL is optional. Actually, you do not need MySQL, but uh, just a precaution, you can start both. Okay. Next, create a basic uh, HTML file uh, skeleton. Okay, this title. So, for the uninitiated, I'm uh, creating uh, um, this file under Atom. Uh, editor atom text editor so you can use any editor that you want but uh, for this current tutorial i'm using atom text editor okay save it as html file so that you can enable the syntax highlighting all right okay this is atom so it uh, appears to have a syntax highlighting enable okay close the body and then close uh, HTML. Right, this is uh, so far is a basic uh, HTML uh, five uh, skeleton. Okay, you can uh, test it in inside your browser. Okay, I'm going to zoom it a little bit. So simple. Okay, this is your simple uh, skeleton page. So to write a JavaScript, so you need to put it uh, a script tag and then surround it with a script tag and then close it. Okay, with a script tag. The rule for setting up the variable inside the JavaScript is almost uh, as the same as uh, C or Java. So if you master C or Java, Okay, declaring rule is uh, as simple as typing var and then uh, type in the variable name var a, you can put it, or var b, var c. Okay, simple, just like uh, C and Java and Java programming languages. Except that, that in JavaScript, it does not have type, you only have a variable. Okay, you do not have type. So, uh, doesn't matter if you are using string or integer or float, uh, everything is within the var data type. Okay, and then you can also type uh, var, you can declare like this, var e uh, testing. Okay, okay, and then var, uh, let's say that name. Okay, Rafat bin Abu. So, this is the very basic of the JavaScript, right? And then you can also declare an array inside JavaScript. Okay, there are two ways to, uh, popular ways to create an array. Okay, uh, just like this. Draw a course, and then you can go, uh, go to uh, call one. Okay, and then uh, call two. And then uh, call three, all right? Or you can declare it into a motorcycle. Okay. 
like this uh, another way to create uh, an array new array okay motorcycle one all right and then motorcycle two and uh, motorcycle three uh, for example Okay, this is another form of how you can create an array and then you can access it uh, an array okay from your uh, uh, code so uh so you can save this and then you can try and uh, refresh okay to view the output you can press f12 And then you can see the output from the console. Okay, just now we have a problem or trouble uh, with the stray error. So there will be no error over here. If you want to debug your JavaScript, we can see here the error inside the console. Right, uh, there are two ways to output variable. So first, you can use print, window.print. Okay, dot print. Or secondly, you can use console.log. Okay, you can use console.log. So, for example, like console.log uh, e. Right. And then try writing console.log. Okay. List of motorcycle. Okay, you can put here and then console.log. Okay, you can write here motorcycle zero. Okay, and then plus uh, over here plus motorcycle uh, one. AR. You can save here and then you can refresh. Okay, okay, all everything is output over here. Testing list of motorcycle, motorcycle one, motorcycle two. Okay, you can change the name of the motorcycle over here. You say Kawasaki. And then another motorcycle. You can put a Honda. And then another uh, motorcycle. You put here Yamaha. So, you can refresh it back. Okay. You print here Kawasaki and Honda. So, this is uh, one way to output your JavaScript. So, uh, another way is you can also perform arithmetic. So, arithmetic can be put here, number 1. Okay, number 1. Var number 5. Alright, and then you can uh, put here var total. Okay, number 1, number 2. Total, num 1 plus num 2. Okay, this is uh, how to perform arithmetic. Okay, command is just like uh, C. Okay, this is a command. Uh, add two numbers. Okay. And then you can print here console.log. Okay, total. Alright. So, here you can refresh back. And then you can get it six. Okay. Six. Or uh, if you want to look it uh, much more... Um, uh, much more official you can do something like this console.log ok num1 plus ok and then plus and then plus if you want to combine the screen or concatenate the screen you can uh, use it uh, something like this ok num2 plus and then equals ok plus total ok so you save it and then you refresh ok so you get 1 plus 5 equals 2 alright uh, this is just a simple quick introduction to javascript basics ok next we look into dom ok ok we have already passed about Java basic javascript next we look into dom or uh, document object model ok if you remember, I've told you a second way uh, of outputting the 
uh, result of the variable to the website. Okay, second way is that you can put your website, uh, put your result of your JavaScript directly inside the web pages. So, here are what we are going to look into the DOM. Alright. So, let's say that uh, you want to copy this uh, skeleton. Okay. Create a new file. Okay. And then we try to save it under DOM basic. Okay. Save it. Look into DOM basics. Okay. Index.html. Alright. JavaScript basic. DOM. Okay, DOM in document object model. So, under DOM, uh, each of the block, we call it block, uh, are label. So, for example, if you want to create a, a one block, okay, the div mean division, division of page or block. Okay, block, you can label it with ID. Okay, ID. You can put your output or container. Okay, uh, anything if uh, you like. So if you are using Bootstrap, okay. If you have already enrolled inside the Bootstrap class, okay, you may have already learned about uh, ID container inside Bootstrap. Okay, next we create uh, a result over here, right? Okay, you separate it by creating a new paragraph. And then try to output it in result. Okay, in the place of uh, the variable that we need to put in, you put a span. So span is similar to div id, uh, except that in div, it create a new block. But in span, it will not create a new block or new uh, line when you want to mark it for a result. So you put a span. So id span, you could put a result. Okay, okay, anything uh, would be here will be replaced. Okay, apa-apa benda di sini, dia akan ditukar. Right, will be replaced. Okay, next, uh, here come the JavaScript. Okay, JavaScript. Right. Okay, here. Okay, you can see uh, in the website. Okay, you can click uh, here uh, on DOM. Okay, right. Uh, don't be sick. So, result. JavaScript DOM, the result will be replaced over here. When you load the JavaScript, you can put here A, var A, uh, testing. Okay, var name, uh, Ahmad. And then, you can also put here var num1. Okay. 1, var num2. K5 okay, for total equals to num1 plus num2. And then you can uh, write in the result. So instead of writing a console log, you can also like uh, write the console log. We are going uh, to do uh, a little bit of DOM, document object model. So in order to do document DOM, you must uh, inspect which uh, of the ID that you need to replace. So, we are going to print this total over here. So, look uh, at the ID. Okay. The ID name is result. So, to do that, uh, you can put here, here uh, over here, var, uh, output uh, result. Okay. Equals to document dot get element by id so you can write here result so over here the result would be output in here and then uh, from here you can have output result dot inner html so you put it equals to total right equals to total over here so this will be replaced by number Six, right? By number six, one plus five equals to number six. So you, uh, when you refresh, you become number six. And then you can make also make this uh, much more interactive. So to make it uh, more interactive, okay, I'll try to create a new file, right? New file and a new folder, okay, for you to learn. 
right a new dom basic 2 so in dom basic 2 we will try to make this much more interactive by including a text field uh, together with a button so try to create a new file okay like here Okay, basic DOM interactive okay interactive number one all right how to, do you make it interactive by including of course the uh, by including of course the uh, text field for user input so, uh, you may have already learned about text field. So, uh, text field, you can put here by input type. Okay, by input type, you can put here number. Right, input type number. Okay, name, number. And then, by ID, you can put here number one. Okay. Okay, remember the ID. The ID is the important part. Right. Okay. Uh, over here, you can put here uh, some title. Okay, please input two numbers and press uh, and press add. So here you can use the interactivity, right? And then you can also create a label. Okay, label for number one. Okay. Okay, number one label okay okay put here uh, break line break okay, label for number two right you put here number two okay number okay why we uh, we put here number because we want to restrict the uh, HTML to only include the number. So here you only have number. You can uh, also change this to text, but uh, we will try to keep it to number. Okay, name. Okay, number. You could put your number or number two uh, uh, up to you. And then ID number two. Okay, BR. Alright. Okay, finally. Okay, finally for here, you could here put your button. Okay, button. Okay, you can put your name. Alright, you could put your name. Okay, as button or add. Okay, and then ID, btn add. Okay, up to you. And then uh, you can learn about how to use a uh, function. Okay, how to use function. So the function can be on click. Okay, this is also DOM on click. All right. Okay, this is uh, clearly a function. Okay, you could put your uh, try at. Okay, at, and then you close the button. Right, or you can also put your input type. Okay, input type button. Okay, old fashioned way you put here as input type button. Okay, try to refresh. Right, go to this website. Try to refresh. Look at uh, two of the number. So this is the result. Number one, number two. Right, you put your number. Okay, and then when you click this, it should uh, display a result. So, to do that, uh, you have to put here value over here. Value. At. So, the text will display at. Right. So, you can also use CSS to ensure that both of these uh, text fields are well aligned. Okay, next, uh, we try to write a simple JavaScript function. Okay, just like this. A simple JavaScript function. Okay, okay take a look here. We put here as try at. 
and then we can change this into uh, writing a function okay function try add right okay you can write this style like this or like that doesn't matter you can also uh, put a comment uh, okay add to numbers all right okay okay here you can put a var var number one Okay, instead of equaling it to 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6, okay, you can put it as document.get element by ID. Okay, you want to get whatever inside the text box. So, you can get uh, number 1. Number 1. And then you can put your value. Okay. And then for number 2 document dot get element by id okay number two dot value so it will get the value from here all right and then you can put your bar total okay number one plus number two so and then the thing is that where do you want to output the result so you can output the result in the bottom of this. Okay, at the bottom of this. So kalau kat bawah ni nak letak bottom. Okay, you can put here over here. Right. Okay, and then you can write over here strong. Okay, result. Okay, and then you can put here the result is. Okay, the result is okay. Put the R. Put the span ID result. Okay, just that simple. Okay, when you see it, and then how you are going to output the the total? Okay, you can put the var output. Uh, result equals to document dot get element by id okay ensure that you uh, take appropriate here so that uh, this will be replaced so uh, okay dot uh, get element by id result right and then to output finally output the result okay put your output result dot inner html equals to total so this will be replaced okay if we are correct so if there is an error you can always look at the log okay console log so try to refresh it uh, refresh this page so we have number one and number two okay number one you have uh you can put a 100 okay you put a five then uh put your at okay you notice that there is a problem okay Problem is that uh, why it become uh, 1005. Uh, otherwise, you put here as 100 and then this one is 5. So, this is because you do not convert the string into numbers. So, to convert string into numbers is easy. Alright. What you need to do is put in the int valve. Right, and interval. So, so whatever happen here is that you put here one thousand, and then you put here two thousand. It does not result in three thousand, but it will become one thousand, two thousand. So similarly, if you put here the number fractional number like this. Okay, to solve that, you have to do a casting. So doing casting is simple. Just use pass uh, integer. Okay, pass integer. Okay, there is a function pass integer. So probably I haven't refreshed the uh, the file. So try to refresh the file. Right, okay, and then uh, it works. So try to refresh the file and it works. Thirty five. Okay, let's say that you can change it to twenty four, twenty nine. Okay, 26, 
32, 6. Okay, the problem is that uh, when you pass integer, it will result in integer. Okay, when you put in 6.5, the number will be truncated. So, to ensure greater uh, flexibility, you can change this into pass float. So, don't forget to refresh. Okay, you can pass it uh, into float. Float 1. Okay, 1, 5. Okay, and then 5.2, uh, 5.4. 100.2 we should get 105.60001 okay this is because of the rounding error so um okay this is how you create a basic uh, javascript function so uh, a bit simple and easy okay next uh, we will look into a uh, further example on uh by using a uh, jquery so we can also use a uh, jQuery. Right. Uh, okay, I've left you with an assignment. Uh, please check in the e-learning system. So be it your feature or e-learn, uh, please check inside the tutorial section or uh, assignment section. Uh, I've given you an assignment to do with JavaScript Basic DOM. Okay, and I expect it, you can complete it within the class or lab session. So, that's all for today's uh, lecture. So, be seeing you back uh, in the next segment. And then, ensure that you can download this uh, example. Okay, in your... Uh, you future, okay, you future or e-learning portal. Okay, good luck uh, to all of you and be seeing you back next week.